A JCPS board member is dropping out of the race for re-election. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Hayden Ristevsky. And I'm Scott Reynolds. WDRB's Katrina Nickel tells us why Chris Cold feels he's not the man for the job anymore. Right, and you guys, he represents District 2, and despite filing for re-election just two weeks ago, he's made the decision to step down. Cold said after not receiving the endorsement of JCPS's largest teachers union, JCTA, he decided to drop out of the race, but does intend to finish this term. JCTA did not add why it would not endorse Kolb. Kolb, who has been on the board since 2016, felt if he didn't have the teacher's support, it was his time to step away. This isn't a good enough job to, to, to do uh, if folks really aren't behind you and doesn't pay anything. It's a whole lot of work. Everybody's always mad at you, you know, so there's a big part of me that's pretty relieved to be uh, ending my school board tenure at the end of the year. Now, JCTA says it will not endorse any of the candidates running in District 2, and two other candidates have filed to run in that district, Abby Berthold and Trisha Francis Lister. Yeah, some big turnover coming, Katrina, because now this means that there will actually be three new faces on the board after the November election? Yeah, so Cole joins two other board members not seeking re-election. That's Sarah McIntosh in District 7 mm -hmm. and Joe Marshall in District 4. Neither plan to ever run, and the only current sitting board member is Gail Logan Strange, who is on the ballot for November. She represents District 1. She technically isn't even seeking re-election because she was appointed to fill part mm -hmm. of Diane Porter's term, who had stepped down last October. Well, safe to say those are three hot seats with everything going on with JCPS yes. that they will be filling. Thanks, Katrina.